in this podcast, we would like to study the telegram from the embassy in Greece to the Department of State. The date is August 9th, 1964, uh, 2 p.m. So we have the text. We are going to read some lines and to explain some of them from the beginning i've just seen papandreou at his request kostopoulos foreign affairs and garofalia's defense also present so we have three person from greece and the contact was made at the request of papandreou uh, the framework is the bombings of Turks in uh, Cyprus, in the region of uh, Kokina Mansura. Papandreou said, for the government of Greece, had received telephone call from Macarius demanding intervention of Greek aircraft to repel Turk bombings which resumed this morning. In a previous telegram, we have the proof, and by the way, it's also mentioned by the President Johnson that the Turkish army used napalm and not only classical bombs. So it's important to see it that in the archives of the White House, we have also this proof. We continue with the text. So Papandrea alluded to his statement last night, which he said constituted formal repudiation of Macarius' policy. It's important to see that there is already a problem at that level, but uh, you can see in the following sentence that the position of Labuiz uh, from Anches is to say what? Fighting has now stopped. However, and Turkish action is putting government of Greece in untenable position. The remark is the following. Whatever one might think of Macarius is the following thing. He is apparently in the right in this instance. So the position is we have a problem, a real problem. We have bombings from Turkey in this region. And the problem of Macarius is to say what? If we don't stop Turks at this point, will we have a problem in the whole island? So the Greek Cypriot are going to fight against Turk Cypriots. That's the problem, okay? So the public opinion in Greece and in Cyprus will not permit to the government of Greece stand aside indefinitely. This is a pro the position. So it means that in fact, all the Greeks are together in this problem in 1964. So you see that there is no relation with uh, anything else there is no relation with what will be happen in 1967. There is no relation with the problem uh, we mentioned all the time in 1974. So it's 10 years before. And we have already a big problem at this region. By the way, you know that even now, Kokina is in fact occupied. So it's not connected with the occupied territories, but it's also an occupation even now. Kiprianou had telephoned demanding formal declaration of government of Greece support by 1.30 today, failing which government of Cyprus will have no alternative but to seek help elsewhere. You see that it's like an ultimatum, more or less. 
Papandreou appealed to U.S. government halt Turkish attacks. As feared, Papandreou, U.S. government was exerting its best efforts, pointed out direct and immediate Soviet or UAR intervention seemed rather unlikely and requested assurance that government of Greece armed forces would not be engaged without further consultation with us. So, U.S. want to stop this, okay, but they want to control the size of the effort also from Greece. They don't want a big war for that point. It looks only like an episode of all this problem. For the moment, in reality, is not a proxy war of the Cold War, but it's already a problem with friction. So it's impossible to avoid the, the events of 1964 if we want to explain really the events of 1974. So at the end of uh, the telegram, we have the following sentence. Kostopoulos said Grievous is returning within the hour. Government of Greece at a loss understand how Kokina Mansour affair had gotten out of control despite best efforts, government of Greece. Varoufalias asserted no Greek nationals involved this affair. So it's from the Ministry of Defense. All three Greeks were in rather emotional state. I uh, assured them I would be in touch with them later today. So we see a problem 10 years before the big problem with no correlation with anything else. And we see that just for the region of Kokina, Turks were ready to make an invasion. So in reality, they were stopped only by the position the clear position of the President Johnson and especially his letter. In this telegram, we see how critical was the problem and how crucial was the intervention of U.S. to solve it.